teachinggreen.com or to attend the Teaching Green workshops, you can go to teachinggreen.org. The number of complicated births are on the rise for many reasons. Women are having babies later in life, increase in fertility procedures. These can all create potential high-risk babies. The alarming trend prompted one Torrance hospital to set a trend of its own. This week in Torrance reporter Shanine Cayetano has the story. They basically told me that they were going to, I was going to deliver that night and they were going to take her and she had like a small chance at survival. Maisha Millsap's baby girl Camille was born at 25 weeks and stayed in a room like this. Her daughter was born four months too soon. I cried for at least the first two months every day, but I was here every day visiting. Millsap is not alone. More and more babies need to go to the neonatal intensive care unit, also called NICU. So Providence Little Company of Mary and Torrance decided to dedicate their resources to revamping their NICU. It's been five years in planning, um, over $7 million in cost. Um, and we traveled across the United States to look at other intensive care nurseries that have a single family room design. Usually NICUs have many babies in one room, but this new unit is different. Premature babies will have their own private room, and a nurse will closely monitor them just a few feet away. This unit here is like a dream come true for every uh, NICU nurse. This unit here will be the first unit within Los Angeles County to have private rooms for um, the patients and for the families. I would have appreciated the privacy, like more, more privacy. Um, especially when they were given patient information like everyone that was around. In addition to more privacy, the extra space is also functional. Each room will contain the baby's medication and mother's breast milk, meaning less chance for errors. We found historically that babies do better if they have their own cycle of lighting and rest. And typically when they were all in one big room, um, whenever a baby was having problems or difficulty, all the lights go on. Uh, more people rush in, it becomes very noisy, it interrupts their sleep and growth, and, and so that's why we went with this design, it's the best for the infants. Um, there's also a monitor, or several monitors in each room, that constantly monitor the baby's heart rate, uh, their breathing rate, uh, their oxygen saturation level in their blood, as well as their blood pressure. Mary Black Williams says she has never seen anything like this in her 37 years as a nurse. The new unit will have a family bonding room that will contain all the anemones of a home, and a procedure room is right down the hall. The hospital will be able to care for 34 premature or special need babies. We're very proud of the fact that we are the first ones. Um, it, it takes a lot of dedication um, for the hospital and administration because, number one, it is more costly. And number two, you need to dedicate uh, three to four times more square footage. And with units like this, more and more babies will be able to beat the odds like Camille. She's actually doing really good. She, had, she didn't have any problems so far, so she's doing really good. For This Week in Torrance, I'm Shanine Cayetano. Thanks, Shanine. Providence Little Company of Mary anticipates the new NICU's grand opening this December. Across town, the newest addition to Torrance Memorial Medical Center may be small in size.